we want to evaluate the integral or find the antiderivative. It might be tempting to try u substitution here by letting the denominator be equal to u, but notice how if we try this, differential u, which is equal to u prime times dx, would be two x plus six times dx. And notice how we don't have a linear factor in the numerator, so basic u substitution won't work. But we can manipulate the denominator to make it fit the integration formula given here below, which results in an antiderivative involving arctangent, where a would be a constant and u is a function of x. So we need the function of x to be a perfect square. If we complete the square on x squared plus six x, we can make it fit this form. So let's begin by factoring out the eight. We'll write this as eight times the integral of one divided by now we'll group the x terms together so we can complete the square on x squared plus six x. We know we'll add half of six squared to make this a perfect square trinomial. And then we still have the 13. And whatever value we add here, we'll have to subtract to maintain equality. So again, to complete the square on x squared plus six x, we would take half of six, which is three, and then square it, and three squared is nine. So we'll add nine here. If we add nine here, we'll have to subtract nine here to maintain equality. So now we have eight times the integral of one divided by, let's go ahead and factor our trinomial. We'd have x and x. The factors of nine that add to six are positive three and positive three. So we'd have plus three plus three or the quantity x plus three squared. Notice here we have 13 minus nine, which equals four. But since we have a squared here, let's write four as two squared. Now we should be able to recognize that u is equal to x plus three, and a is equal to two, but of course we can change the order here since addition is commutative. So we can also write this as eight times the integral of one divided by two squared plus the quantity x plus three squared, if we find this helpful. But the important thing to recognize here is that a equals two, u equals x plus three. So if u equals x plus three, notice that differential u is equal to one times dx, or du is just equal to dx. Since du equals dx, we don't have to perform u substitution, we can go ahead and find our antiderivative function. So we would have eight times one divided by a, which would be one divided by two or one half, times arctangent of u divided by a, which would be the quantity x plus three divided by two plus c, simplifying. Our antiderivative function is four arctangent of the quantity x plus three divided by two plus c. So this is our antiderivative function, or the family of functions that have a derivative of eight divided by the quantity x squared plus six x plus 13. I hope you found this helpful.